Hello everyone, welcome to LRA Prep. My name is Mir Sadana. So we are discussing this 15 best reasoning questions for CMAT 2021. Subscribe to the YouTube channel LRA Prep to cover your 100% syllabus and also use the referral code LRDS Mir Live for an Academy Plus subscription. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing some questions which are based on ranking. Question number 9 is on the screen. It says, in a class of 36 students, number of girls is one third to the number of boys. Preet, who is a boy, is ranked 23rd from the top. If 8 girls ranked more than Preet, then how many boys scored less than Preet? So guys, in these, in these type of questions, right, which are known as ranking based questions, right, these are very, very important for CMAT exam, first of all, because uh, every year you'll find two or three questions from the ranking only in CMAT reasoning section. And here you're supposed to know, know the relative positioning of the people standing in the row or standing in one line. So what do you see that in this whole question, uh, the reference has been taken with respect to pre. See, so, so anything that you're writing it down or anything that you're representing uh, on pen and paper, you should be doing it with, with respect to pre. Total number of students are 36, first of all, right? Number of girls is one third to the number of boys. That means if I'm saying that number of boys in the class are three, the number of girls will be th one. So total number of students in the class are four. So out of four students in the class, one is girl, three is a boy, three are the boys. If I have 36 students in the class, which are nine times of four, I can say nine are the girls and 27 are the boys, right? Now, Preet, right, Preet, who is a boy, right? So, so whatever you want to write it down, write it down with reference to Preet, right? The number of girls in a class of 36 years, number of girls is one through one third to the number of boys. Preet, who is a boy, is ranked 23rd from the top. So if I am writing down the rank of all these people standing in the row, Preet, who is a boy, is ranked 23rd. Can I say that there will be total 22 students standing in front of Preet? If eight girls ranked from ranked more than Preet, so out of all the students who are standing in front of Preet or all the students who are ranked more than better than Preet, the total are 22 and out of these 22, it says eight are the girls. If eight are the girls, can I say 14 are the boys? Now, how many, how many boys scored less than Preet? So out of total 27 boys, 14 boys are standing are standing ahead of Preet. So can I say that there will be 13 out of 27 boys, 14 boys are standing in front of, ahead of Preet and le rest I'm left with is 13 boys. And out of these 13 boys, one is Preet himself and remaining 12 boys will be, remaining 12 boys will be standing behind Preet or I can say that these 12 boys will be scoring less than Preet so question says how many boys scored less than Preet? The answer is 12. It's very important, right? All You will always find the option at a difference of plus one or minus one with the correct answer uh, because these are questions are very tricky. There's a chance of error of plus one or minus one. So you have to be very careful. If you do not assume, if you do not take care that Preet himself is a boy, so you're not supposed to count that Preet himself, right? So rest of the boys will be behind Preet. If you do not include Preet as a boy, you will mark this answer as 30, right? Which is very close to the answer. Answer should be option number B. Moving on to the question number 10. In a queue, in a queue of 1000 students standing for prayers in school, in school, Mohit who is 5 places ahead of Mohan. Mohit as a person is standing 5 places ahead of Mohan. Can I say that? The number of people standing between Mohit and Mohan will definitely be 4. Only then you can say that Mohit is 5 places ahead of Mohan. Now, Mohit who is 5 places ahead of Mohan is 21st from the back. Is 21st from the back, can I say that behind Mohit, if Mohit rank from the back is 21st, can I say that there will be 20 more persons standing behind Mohit. And Mohan is 24th from the front. If Mohan is 24th from the front, can I say that if Mohan from the front is ranked at 24th, there will be total 23 person who will be standing in front of Mohan. Now, how many students are standing in the row? See that guys. 
Mo Mohit rank is 21st from the from the back, right? In front of Mohan, I have 23. So in front of Mohan, I have 23 students. If I subtract these four students, I'll be left with 19 students. And so can I say that Mohit rank from the start in, is 19th. That means there are 18 people. There are 18 people who are standing in front of Mohit. Now 18 people are standing in front of Mohit. 20 people are standing behind Mohit and including Mohit, you can see that number of people will be 18 plus one Mohit himself plus 20 people standing behind. The answer to the question will be 39. That is option number A. Question number 11. It says number of girls standing ahead of Meera. Right? So we have a person Meera. Right? And the number of girls standing ahead of Meera is double the number of girls standing behind Meera and Aman. So the number of girls standing ahead of Meera is double the number of girls standing between Meera and Aman. Okay. So if I'm saying that X is the number of girls standing between Meera and Aman, the number of girls ahead of Meera will be 2X. Now the number of girls standing after Aman in the row is 53. So after Aman, the number of girls in the row are 53. If Meera is standing exactly in the middle, right? Meera is middle, right? Exactly in the middle of the row. That means, can I say that the number of people who are in front of Meera will be same as the number of people who are standing behind Meera because Meera is supposed to be in the middle. So ahead of Meera, we have 2x person and behind Meera, we have x plus Aman plus 53. x plus Aman 1 plus 53. That means here you can see that the value of x is 54. Now if x is 54, that means that means ahead of Mira I have 108 person. Behind Mira I have 54 person. Then I have Aman and then I have 53 person. Now how many girls are there in the row? 108 plus 54 plus 53 plus Mira and Aman 2. So the final answer will be 108. 54 and 53 is 107 plus Mira and Aman will be 2. So the answer will be the final answer will be 270. So how many girls are there in the row? Answer will be D option that is 270. That would be the correct answer to the question. Let's do one more question. Question number 12. In a row of children, Deepa is fifth from the left. So there's a row and Deepa is fifth from the left and Vijay is sixth from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Deepa is fifth from the left. And Vijay is 6th from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you, or you can straight away say that on the left hand side of Deepa, I have 4 person. And on the right hand side of Vijay, I have 5 person. Right? When they interchange their places among themselves, that means when Vijay come here and Deepa come over here, Deepa becomes 13 from the left hand. Now, Deepa was already positioned at 5th place. When I'm saying that, when I'm saying that Deepa position now is 13 from the left, four people were already there. Now Vijay is one more person on the left hand side of Deepa. That means four plus five. And now Deepa is 13. That means on the left hand side of Deepa. Deepa becomes 13 from the left. That means on the left hand side of Deepa, I have 12 persons sitting, right? Four plus one, five. That means there are seven more people between Vijay and Deepak now. That means earlier also these people will be same as seven, right? So between Deepa and Vijay, we have seven people. Now we are supposed to tell what will be the Vijay's position from the right. And in this case, what will be the Vijay position from the right? You see that earlier out on the right hand side of Vijay, we have five people. So in the, on the right hand side of Deepa, we'll have five people, right? Five plus one Deepa, six, six plus seven, 13. So from the right hand side, Vijay will be 14th ranked, right? Five people already there, right? You can see that these are the five people. Then Deepa is also there, six plus seven people between Vijay and Deepa. So all these people, right? Seven plus Deepa plus five. That means 13 people are on the right hand side of Vijay. So if I start counting the ranking of Vijay from the right hand side, it will be 13 plus one, that is 14th. B would be the correct answer to the question. These are the ranking based questions, which I personally found uh, very, very relevant for exams like CMAT. Guys, refer to our code LRDS Smear Live to attend all of my live sessions on Academy Plus. LRDA Prep is my YouTube channel to cover your 100% syllabus. This is the Telegram group. Link is given in the description part of the video. The last six days before the price hike enroll now 
right these are the new prices which will be effective for Khan Academy Plus from 31st of March so there are only five days left for six days left for you to subscribe on Academy Plus as soon as possible durations are one month three months six months 12 months 24 months right the prices are going to increase in every every category and also in the iconic subscription these are the new prices that will be effective so subscribe now on an academy plus use my raffle code lrs near live and there is a practice quant series right which i will be conducted on 27th of march 4 pm to 4 40 pm detail analysis will be discussed with you from 5 pm to 6 pm you can get a chance of winning an amazon voucher for rupees thousand uh, if you can secure the rank among top five people so subscribe to the test and register yourself for the test and attempt the test on 27th of March, 4 p.m. to 4.40 p.m. And get a chance to win the Amazon vouchers worth rupees 1000. Thank you so much for watching the video. These are my upcoming courses for CAT 2021 in the April month. Arithmetic without formula from basic to advanced, 12th April. Algebra course part 2, 18th April. And data interpretation course starting on 6th of April. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part.